Hello everyone, my name is Jake Peter, and today we are playing Aim Hero. Now, you're probably here because you want to improve your aim in an FPS game, so this is definitely something you can look forward to. It's probably the best alternative to playing the game itself, so you're going to get a bunch of targets and we'll just jump right in. As of right now, you can actually just import your mouse sensitivity and stuff from these games that you play, so if you don't change it, it's going to be in its own deal. But you can change your crosshair type, there's the circle, you can get dots and different kinds of crosshairs and make it bigger and whatnot. We'll just stick with this, we'll change our color to that. As you can see, we have all of these different things, so yeah. We'll just start off and we'll show a little bit of what's going on. So we have different skill levels, we're just going to be down medium for everything because I believe I am pretty bad and easy. I still feel it's too easy and hard is going to be too much. But of the different modes, we'll just briefly show them all off real quick. So when you start off each game mode, you are going to want to press the R button. In this game, it's fairly simple. You lose lives only when you do not shoot a target fast enough. And this game mode will actually go until you lose, or the 180 seconds is up, or the 3 minutes, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so we got to level 7. We got a total of 208 shots. We hit 196, missed 12. I can see popped up and it took us an average of just a little under half a second to hit. So that's kind of cool, we got all those statistics in there. And my best score, I did get to level 8 one try before this. So now we have strafing, which is the second mode, and it's really just shooting left and right and seeing how well you can get these moving targets that are trying to juke you out, possibly. Now it's very not super intuitive, and it's going to let you go up and down because while you would just want to go left and right, it's not going to be realistic if your character just going left or right, unless there was like a hold vertical motion button, which I don't think these games have a hold vertical motion button. So you just gotta, gotta get these strafe shots as you can. So here we have the pentakill one, which is very much like CSGO and how this is going to play. You're not going to get everything, and we actually only get a limited amount of shots. So if we can actually shoot all five of these, that would be wonderful. And I can't, I just I just suck at this. But this is what Aim Hero is supposed to be about. Nothing cool actually happens when you shoot all five, because I've done that in practice. But it's, it's kind of just something to say you've done, you know? Oh my. Okay, well, we'll pretend we shot that one. But yeah, it's, this is a, a lot of what you'd see in a CSGO map, or even Battlefield in some instances. Next we're moving on to Simple, which this is definitely a recreation of a CSGO map, as you can see. This is where the bomb would be, this is underneath here where you come your buyback, and there's a staircase that goes down there. Another little big piece of the map over there. But this is going to be a map where you just have a bunch of little targets popping up, where people could be popping in and out for you to shoot. And it's just how fast you can actually get these. It kind of seems a little cheesy, but this is where people would pop in and out, for the most part. While they might not actually come out this far, it is, you know, just getting you used to the general vicinity you want to be checking. Next we have Reflex, which is probably my second favorite game mode, and what a lot of people have been saying is that this is actually their favorite of them all. But it's, it's hard, but it's, I don't know what its super practical use is, because you're not actually like aiming towards anything in particular besides the fact that you're Reflex aiming. So it could get your reflexes up if you play this a few minutes before you actually start your actual gameplay session. It might just help get into the motion of your mouse again, because if you haven't played in a day or so, you're going to be a little bit rusty, and this is what you want to have to get your groove back on. Now we have fast aiming, which is the second to last option we have, and it's basically very similar to reflex, besides the fact that it's just popping up on the map and staying there. So it's probably a little bit better. You don't have to necessarily reflex as much. Now Fatim just comes out and you're just sniping them. Maybe you're in the air in Call of Duty shooting down your Hornet missiles, whatever that thing is, I don't know. And it goes until we got a certain amount of misses or something, but we got a decent time. Our average time to hit was actually a little bit less than the original game mode we just played earlier. And our last one is the Zarya mode where we get to pretend we're shooting Zarya's gun at this little target that this seems to defy gravity, or just physics in general. But it's, it's alright. Uh, as you can see, I can't do my aiming that well. I mean, that's a 
that's granted from the rest of the video, but this is this is the Zarya gun. Try your best and aim while you can. But if you enjoyed Aim Hero and it seems something that you can pick up to improve your aim, definitely become a hero today. This game will be on Steam. It is early access right now, so they are developing more, and I'm excited to see what happens. Maybe they can make more stuff to make my aim even that much more heroic than it already is with what they have here. But it is $5. There'll be a link to the game in the description below if you're interested. Uh, subscribe if you are new here and you want to see more content. And check out the rest of the Nemoth playlist down below in the description so that you can see all the other wonderful games, or it's even on screen right now. So click there, and until next time everyone, peace.